Welcome to Graphical. Um, today we're gonna have a look at the Pixar uh, application, which is a new application in the App Store. Um, it's a library, a photo library app, and let's see what it does. Um, uh, you can import pictures by opening it or dragging files to it. So in this case, I have some example images. We have different collections. We view uh, nice feature of the applications. It's automatically filters on uh, different types of media it finds: wallpapers, PDF files, tablets, phone, whatever. So let's import something to uh, system. As you can see, uh, importing goes. Uh, quite good have to keep in mind that it makes a copy of the file and it's imported to the library so everything that you make changes and, th and things like that it's only for uh, happening inside the library it doesn't touch your originals as you can see when I uh, look onto a picture shows the information of the picture this is a markup function which is uh, kind of neat you can uh, draw something on it uh, you can have some text and things like that so let me change some pen thickness then I'll select the color and now we have to select the pen tool and draw something it has some auto uh, uh, shapes so I tried to make a circle it recognized that and makes it a circle and uh, good thing is it's still editable while it's there also nice thing to have is some uh, signature feature which allows you to make a signature using your trackpad and this is then stored into the system pressing done and then you can use that image as a signature. As you see, the, all the shapes that have been entered are editable. You can still change the colors if you want, add some text to it, save it, or cancel it in this case. So, uh, zooming in, also possible as every image package has to do you can zoom in with the key uh, with the icon zoom icon but you can also zoom in with uh, uh, your uh, key uh, trackpad you can tag images uh, it remembers your previous tags or you can just create a new tag as I did here before here and then uh, now there's a possibility to have some filters applied to uh, the images, make it a little bit uh, some contrast, have some effects on it. You can preview it with without, and you can add uh, multiple filters. Uh, uh, becomes multiple layers actually into the image. So what we got more is, uh, yeah, we can remove the filters. And you won't lose your originals. Sharing functionality, also possible. Mac OS standard sharing functionality. I can easily, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm zooming in here with the trackpad, which goes quite smoothly. You can go to the next and the previous image by a shortcut key or just uh, pressing the arrows into uh, the view. So that works quite nice. So here is the library 
that I imported. One um, nice thing about it is also you can select multiple images and tag them, for example, or give them some properties. So you see what the properties are, and I tag them, and you see that they have been tagged with that image, with that tag, sorry. Make the previews bigger, smaller, all makes sense, looks good. You have the possibility to create uh, some collections or smart collections. So let me make a smart collection in this case. And you have some options like, okay, give me everything uh, with some possible uh, possibility, give everything bigger than a specific size or uh, uh, DPI and things like that so and you can give it a name and when you press on it it automatically applies to that it gives me all the pictures bigger than uh, four or five MBs you can modify it later on it's uh, a little bit what you're used to uh, from uh, from other Mac OS applications so yeah DPI Options give it a DPI. So, this is a very quick way of finding the images that you're looking for. So, One nice thing about this smart folders is it also gives the possibility, or with collections anyway, it doesn't really matter, to export all the images uh, from back, from your library, uh, out of your library, to your, uh, uh, to the file system. So uh, that is uh, kind of cool. You can also do it per image, of course. We have all the sorting options on the right click. So shows tags. It's a similar idea when you click on the tags tab, you uh, it shows you all the images based on specific tag. Uh, that you have uh, in the images that you tagged before. A nice feature is a color feature, actually. Uh, initially, uh, I thought it's kind of not working very well, and I still do, it's not working very well. Um, so when you click on one color, I would have expected more results coming back from that. There are some options like main color, sub colors, and, and Things like that really uh, doesn't make a lot of sense, uh, but it's a nice feature, and it becomes useful actually when you're able to select multiple colors. So then it starts making use uh, uh, on it. So when I select multiple colors, you will see that uh, more results will come. And because the colors are sort on, on, on uh, similar colors, it's easy to select a group of colors. And you see it's quite fast. So all the images are also indexed based on color. You can add some colors as your favorites and, and, and that would also be an option to, uh, to filter on it. So it's a kind of a yeah, nice feature to have, and especially if you're doing a lot of uh, uh, collecting a lot of images and you're looking for a specific color to combine your image with something else it, it's uh, it's a uh, really neat 
on that level. So that's a nice add-on compared to other uh, photo libraries. Something called mini mode, it always stays on top and you can easily drag and drop images from everywhere to the screen, to the collection that you want to have it. Uh, besides the photo library options, it also has the options for taking snapshots and one of the uh, options they have is take a snapshot of a web page. So how does it work? It opens a browser for you and on the browser you can just type in uh, a URL and uh, it loads the URL. And uh, yeah, you can take a snapshot of it. However, this doesn't work yet, uh, uh, specifically with complex web pages. Looks like it's taking a snapshot of the last uh, page that was uh, loaded into uh, into the browser, which was something in this case something like Facebook. Of course, it doesn't show much, but if you go to a simple web page like Google and thing, uh, uh, then it works. So I'm not very happy with that. Um, taking snapshots, screenshots. Well, you can take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot of uh, <coughs> something that you select. Works like the standard screenshot function of macOS. Does the same. Uh, the difference is it automatically comes to your library. Take a snapshot of a window. Uh, it makes sense. It doesn't scroll. It shows. Uh, they just take a snapshot of what you have uh, on the window. Uh, web, as I said before, doesn't work very well. Only with simple pages. Actually, I was only able to uh, take a snapshot of Google. It didn't make a snapshot for all the other pages that I visited. Somehow makes the blank screen as you can see. So, well, that part uh, still uh, needs uh, some improvement on that level. But it's uh, it's yeah, it's a nice tool if you if you're collecting a lot of images uh, from the web. Uh, it, it gives you a lot of possibilities. Take snapshots automatically. Uh, uh, gets into your uh, library. Uh, looks, let's look at the preferences. There's some preferences. Uh, let's start with general preferences. Oh, some basic information. Uh, oh, I think it all makes sense. Notification, there's some notification options, some capture options. Do you want it shown on there? Exporting, you can make export templates, what should be done, how the naming should be, and some labels. As, as you saw in, in the right click menus, there are some co the color tags. You can give it a name. Uh, nice feature also, you can open different libraries, you can have different libraries in different locations. So that's really good. Uh, Ratings on images, so you can search on that or make uh, smart albums on that. So it's, it's uh, quite a good app. Uh, I like the colors of it. Dark mode really looks professional. Uh, it's a fast app. You can see it goes uh, quite fast. You see the index colors. Uh, also nice is to have a search function. So. That's also good. The only bad thing about the search function is, which I don't like, is that it doesn't look, it only searches, it only searches in the file names. So it doesn't search on the tags that you have given. If you want to search on a tag, you definitely have to use the tag mode uh, and a search for, for, to the tag screen. It doesn't search on uh, on the tag, only the file name. So if you don't, if you have descriptive file names, you can find it. Otherwise, uh, search function does not has does not have much of use. 
I'm also missing functionalities like finding duplicates in your library and things like that. So from that perspective, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's it's a good version 1.0. I think it's uh, a lot of improvements will come with upcoming versions. Also with the tags, similar like the colors, you can select multiple tags, and it will uh, show uh, all the images matching uh, these tags. Um, it's an or 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 so the picture contains either one of the tags it's not and 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 so it has to have those three tags uh, but it's uh, good enough as I said before uh, really fast you see how fast it goes I have uh, quite uh, a lot of uh, images already uh, smooth application I uh, Really like it. Uh, I'll, I will be using it for uh, for my uh, wallpaper library because that's a, that's, a, that's a good thing. As I said before we can change some some options here. See the color, some some in image info, and uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, definitely uh, uh, an application uh, worth. Uh, looking into and I think it's like ten dollars or something like that so uh, the pricing is, is really good uh, if, if they extend the futures uh, of this application it's gonna be a good a good application it's not a, a photos app or the iPhoto or a Lightroom uh, replacement it's for the basic stuff uh, if you have a lot of uh, files uh, laying around on your desktop you can uh, use it that was it I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope we gave you some background information on that uh, on how this application works and uh, uh, good luck. Talk to you later guys.